Wife, children of the late naval officer, dignitaries, members of the state executive council, students and many more are here to celebrate the legend. Governor Babaji de Sawulu urged people to emulate the principle of the late Red Amira, which helped the nation become better for all. The idea behind the honor was to demonstrate to others and to the very many children that are also seated here that Lagos State will never forget its heroes. It is our hope that every time outstanding and heroic leadership is recognized and is rewarded, new leaders will be inspired to emerge and to continue from where the departed generations left off. Rear Admiral Undubisi Kano has played a, a great part and he has finished his race with distinction. The man we are celebrating today, he lived once, he died once, he was never a coward. So as I draw close, let me then say, like my Anthony in Julius, Shakespeare Julius Caesar, he said, friends, Brothers, fathers, sisters, let me your hairs. We are not here to mourn Abdullah Khan. Rather, we are here to celebrate the man who lived and died for the good of the people. Member of the Nadeko group who fought the race of good governance alongside Indubisi Kano speaks about his goodwill. When you live a life of discipline, dedication, patriotic life as Indubisi lived, you should be celebrated. I know the number of people with whom we started Nadeku, where the others are now. I know what he went through. One of his children appreciates the Lagos State government for recognizing the good works of his father. He was a great man and he was a simple man. He was a symbol of power, he was a symbol of stability and simplicity. He loved Lagos State. He was a son of the land. He was a true Nigerian. He didn't care about who you were. He just took an interest in who you are. That was my father. Real Admiral Indubisi Kano contributed to the development of Lagos State during his tenure as the governor and also fought for the return of democracy in Nigeria. Fauzi Agbadiakabakari, MITV News.